that's a good thing if you are a homeowner you know sometimes you could use the property for free if you think about some stuff what you could do in your property what is going on guys this is rj bautista top realtor here in central florida with exp realty today i'm gonna talk about the advantage of being a homeowner rather than a renter okay if you are renting for so long or for many 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 years you know make sure you watch this video from this start until the end because i'm gonna cover to be a homeowner and stop renting or people saying waste money on your rent okay so before i start this video if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe if you you haven't done so and also the most important thing is smash that like button and share this video if you found this value and useful and also last thing but not the least i just want to clarify that i am not financial advisor i am not a lawyer or accountant this video is particular for education entertainment purposes only are we good in that one so let's jump into it so first thing i would like to say here is like if you can afford to buy a property but you don't know how to buy a property or what's the step of the property first what I will do is I will put a link here or here you will see a button there and I will share with you the step by step and also what requirements that you need upon buying a property that you could live in in this video in particular I just want to talk about why owning a house is better and best choice rather than renting a property okay so first thing that I would like to say here is what is the benefits of being a homeowner okay number one benefit of being a homeowner is you can deduct your tax property every year in your expenses let's say if you are a homeowner and then you work here at home obviously you are using your property while working okay so while you're working let's say you have a business and then this business is running around in your property or not running around your property but you are doing your stuff you're doing your work inside of your property so what could happen is you can deduct that money a portion of your size in the property in your taxes by the end of the year so what do you mean by that it's confusing rj even me i confuse what i said there right but this is the, my good example let's say you are a homeowner okay and then you have a tax by the end of the year by let's say two thousand dollars okay for the whole year you have a tax of two thousand dollars the two thousand dollars let's say you can deduct those in your income let's say you have an income of your business for four thousand dollars okay the four thousand dollars or the two thousand dollars from your property you can deduct those instead of paying off whatever from the four thousand income you can deduct those two thousand dollars from your tax from your property is just because you are a homeowner and also one thing as i said earlier if you work in your house as well let's say you have a business and then you are doing your work in your property so let's say this room that i am on right right now this is part of the property let's say the property that i'm on right now is worth like 100,000. only for example okay and this part that i am using right now is half of the property so what is the half of 100,000? so it's gonna be the 50,000, right that 50,000, you can use that one again to deduct in your taxes because you know you are using this property as your work business or you're as you're using for your work for your business does it make sense wow. so it means like if you are a property owner you can just deduct those property taxes and also if you're working here as well you can deduct whatever you're using the part or the portion of your house for your business all right but please make sure to consult in your accountant as i said earlier i am not an accountant i am a realtor and i just learned this one in the past but you know to make sure to double check it triple check it quadruple check it consult in your accountant they could give you more explanation about taxes that's the number one rule if you are a homeowner rather than a renter okay so remember that one so number two benefits of a homeowner is you can design whatever you want in your home all right because if you are a renter as you know you can rent a property whatever the property you like you can rent a condo you can rent a townhouse you can rent a single family or a villa house whatever you want to rent you can rent it out but the disadvantage of that is you cannot modify it you cannot do whatever you want inside of your property right but because if you are a homeowner the advantage of the homeowner is well i like my computer there oops hold on 
okay so what a good thing about homeowner is when you say like hey I like my computer here can I put my television here I want to paint my wall in different color I want to put something on my floor yes you can do that because you are a homeowner you own the property but if you rent a property do you think can you do that obviously not maybe you can if you ask the homeowner but what would the homeowner say no 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 cannot do that unless you kick out and get out to my property so that's the number one thing that you need to think of if you are a renter okay because sometimes if you are a homeowner you know you can do whatever you want paint here put some wall there if you want to have a dog if you want to have a pet you can do or we can modify as much as you want in your property because you own that one all right so that's a good thing or advantage of a homeowner so that's the number two advantage of being a homeowner than a renter so let's go for my top three or my top three tips if you are a homeowner than a renter is well if you have let's say a four bedroom or at least three bedroom house or property and you are only using one property not one property one bedroom in that three bedrooms so how many bedroom left in your property you have two left right two bedroom which is not being used so what you can do about that one if you are thinking smart what you can do is you can rent that out the two bedrooms for a room for rent all right so what can you do is let's say well i have a two spare bedroom here and then it's just sitting there no one's leaving it instead of doing nothing rent it out either you could do short term for that one or short term rental or you can do a long term rental you know either or it will generate you more income it will generate you more money and you rent it out like for 600 for one bedroom and another 600 for one bedroom that's a 1200 and maybe your mortgage is 1500 so you only need to pay 300 you know to cover your mortgage sometimes you can do it for free you are living for free if you are good enough or if your mortgage or if your mortgage if your property is in good location you could get the rate for rent for those property for a room for rent and then it will cover your mortgage wow. okay that's a good stuff that's a good thing if you are a homeowner you know sometimes you can use the property for free you know if you think about some stuff what you could do in your property all right so remember that one you can do that that's called a house hacking okay if you want to know more make sure you subscribe all right if you're learning you know smash that like button for me and share this video as you know sharing is scary okay so i will give you my last tip if you are a homeowner rather than a renter is just because like if you are a homeowner what you could do is you could accept as much people as you want in your property what do you mean by that rj accept as many people as in your property all right here in florida we have like a lot saying if you're renting a property you can only have a specific people inside of your property is just because of the health and safety reason let's say if you're renting especially in the condominiums or townhouses they are really strict about how many people who's living in that property is just because they don't want like a one bedroom let's say one bedroom property and you have like 10 people in there what come on how would you fit 10 people in there leaving the property but if you're a homeowner what they can do it's your property you own the property it means like you can put as many people as you want in there but make sure that you are safe inside there and make sure that you know you can accommodate that one because when if you are a renter they are more or they have a lot of restriction they have a lot of restriction they have a lot of rules and regulation that you need to follow but if you're a homeowner you make the rules all right you make make whatever you want because it's your property you don't have to follow the rules unless they have an HOA obviously you need to follow the HOA rules or else you know the HOA will be mad at you and they will kick you out in the community but other than that inside the property you can do whatever you want in the property and no one will stop you which is the good thing if you are a home owner okay so those all the hacks not the hacks those those all the tips that i can give you if you are a homeowner than a renter if you want to know or if you want to add more comment down below your thoughts or your comment about this video i know i'm talking too much but if you stay in this video until this end comment down below homeowners so i could see how many people who watch this video from this start until the end and i really 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 appreciate your time watching my video until this end i know i'm talking too much so i'm ending my video right away once again thank you for watching i'll see you on my next video peace so if you are renting then homeowner what did they say rent
No, if you are homeowner than renting, yay, there you go. <laughs> Let's do it again, part two.